Hello and welcome to Wild Waiting Series. My name is Fikayo Adeyinka and if this is the first time you are seeing any of my videos, I want to say welcome. It's so good to have you. Don't forget you can click on the subscribe button so you can constantly get notifications of my videos. Today I'm going to be talking about the do's and don'ts of your deliverance session. That means if you're going through a personal deliverance process, what are the things you must do constantly? What are the things you must never do and that's what we're talking about today so my point number one build your expectation before you start the process during the process after the process please stay expectant sometimes it's amazing that as believers we want something we pray about it but we don't have expectations the next minute you're thinking can it happen will it happen what if it doesn't happen you, I know it can be difficult maintaining your expectation, but you have to keep doing it by keep studying the word, by building your faith. Remember, the faith building process is continuous. So you don't just build your faith because you want to have a session. Then when you're done, you just go and relax. You no, know, you keep building your faith. Remember the woman with the issue of blood. She had an expectation. Remember, she said she heard about Jesus and she told herself, if I can touch, that's expectation. Remember, blind Bart Bartimaeus, he also had an expectation. He heard the voice of, he heard Jesus was around, he, he heard the voice of Jesus. He was blind, but he kept on screaming, Jesus, have mercy upon me. That is expectation. Also, Anna, she went back again at a particular time. She's been going to Shiloh for years, but this particular evening, after, after they had dinner, she went back to the temple and she said those specific right prayers that brought her miracle so you have to keep your expectation on then you need to keep building your faith you need to keep building your faith please i just said that before and i'm saying that again for emphasis don't relax on building your faith keep listening to messages keep studying the word keep reading books resource materials and everything and anything that can keep you encouraged another point is number point number three is keep your joy before and after when you are done, yeah, there's going to be a bit of struggle because the devil will tell you, are you sure this thing will happen? This miracle will not happen. Your prayers, will, your, all your prayers you've been waiting for has not been answered. Why do you think this will be? Maintain your joy. Maintain your joy. And joy is of a spirit. So constantly spend time with God. The more you spend time with God, the more the spirit, you know, fills you with joy. So maintain your joy before and after the process. Another point, point number four is to please maintain your Positive confession. Make sure you don't go back saying, these are the do's, oh, the things you must do before and after your deliverance session. You must constantly confess positive things. Stay confessing positivity, please. Stay confessing positivity. It is very important. I want to encourage you. You can have what I call dance sessions. I'm going to do that together very soon. One of this episode we're going to have a dance session what do i mean by a dance session is a time you just um set aside to dance now it's like warfare praise it's like praise praise is a tool and when we get to, we get to talk about praise as a tool um for getting delivery or certain things from god it is powerful so when i was waiting i used to have dance sessions so when i come back from work my red my my sound system is waiting I have a CD in or I slot in a, a praise CD and I begin to dance. My parents were used to that. When they opened the door, they find me dancing. I was having dance sessions. Now, do I feel like doing those sessions? No. Sometimes I'm even discouraged. I'm down and out. But I know that it's something I have come to do. So I don't have to feel like dancing. I'm giving praise to God. I'm giving honor to God. So have dance sessions. Pick a time. Have music, dance. You could either do it, you know, yourself, or you could use recorded music and just dance away. What you do is that you make the devil angry the more. You make him mad and there's nothing he can do about it. So dance sessions are extremely powerful when you're going through your deliverance journey. Another thing you must do is to visualize the end. Please keep seeing the end. Think about the end. See the end. Dream. Just think about, okay, the miracle has come. How will I feel the day the miracle happens? Okay, you are trusting God for marriage. Okay, envision how you will meet your spouse. You know, I was go I mean, I'll just be going one day, or maybe I'm at work. Maybe, you know, just think and dream. You owe nobody any explanation why you're dreaming. There's power in visualization. Your ability to have a vision about the end determines 
if it will happen. If you don't see the end, it won't happen. You must see it in your heart. And that's what the Bible talks about when they were building the Tower of Babel. The Bible says God had to come down to say, ah, if they can consider this, then there is nothing they would plan or think of or imagine. That's the word the Bible used. There's nothing they would imagine that would not come to be. That means there is so much power in your ability to imagine the end. You must be able to constantly imagine the desired end you are planning to see. And finally, speak your victory. That's one thing I've noticed about a lot of us, a lot of believers. We are too shy to talk about the victory Christ has given us. You are too shy to talk about, ah, um, I'm expecting this. You know, speak your victory. Change your vocabulary. Use more definite words, more precise terms. Use, you know, I, I used to say it, I talk a lot sometimes. I use um, 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 tenses that are talking about um, um, the reality of what I want. Sometimes I use past tense, I, you know. So speak in more definite ways. And I know that these seven steps of things you must constantly do during and after your deliverance session will actually deliver your miracle to you. I hope I've been a blessing. I hope I've inspired you. I hope I've encouraged you. Don't forget to share this video with your loved ones. Don't forget to click on the subscribe button. Let's take this confession scripture and I'll see you next episode where I'll be talking about the things you're not supposed to do when you're going through your deliverance journey. So, see you guys later. Bye. Mm -hmm.